I think it's always been difficult to know what is the real truth, even in history. You know, the history, how do we know that's true? Is that someone's biased view? Is it been, you know, changed in some way over time? But I think today, in today's world, with fake news being screamed at us by different people all on the on the media and with internet trickery and with social media in particular, where people can doctor images and create manufactured lives. How do young people find, know what's true today? I think it's particularly hard. And I think um, this age, you know, when you're 12, 13, and you're just starting, you know, you, you're starting to find yourself, discover your identity, it's already a really tricky time, adolescence, it's so much going on, so many changes, and then on top of it, that's when they're now starting to get their smartphones and they're starting to participate in various forms of social media. And I think that's a really heady mix and it can be quite dangerous and have a whole layer, extra layer of complexity and problems for our teens today. So I thought it was really, it fit really nicely with what I was trying to explore in the novel and and I felt that it's really important, it doesn't answer any of these questions, it raises lots of questions and it shows how there's more than um, one way to look at things. Um, but I hope that it will perhaps since, you know, motivate kids to talk about it or to think about what they're doing and what they're seeing. So it's really just to put the spotlight on um, social media and at that time when they're just starting, they're fledgling. They're just, they think they know all about it, but there's a lot of things that they have to, you know, work out for themselves. I think if you want to make your stories really shine, you need to put the truth in your lie. And what I mean by that, if you think about it, storytelling, telling stories is very much like telling lies. They're elaborate lies and they're honest lies because the reader is complicit in the lie, but they're lies nonetheless, they're untruths. And um, I think if you think about lying and the best, you know, the, when I say the best lies, the lies that are less likely to um, be found out are the lies that uh, are the closest to the truth. And that's the same for stories. And so no matter how fantastical your story is, doesn't, whether it's realistic fiction or fantasy, it doesn't really matter. But you need to keep yours to make it believable and page turning and to, and to have your readers, you know, on the edge of their seats and wanting to know what happens. You really need to find to put as much truth in your lie, in your story as possible by putting in very pertinent details and authentic emotions. And so as much truth as possible in this this story that you've constructed I think is the best way to make your stories shine.